Hi, Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm excited to share with you Femme Fatale fragrances, but I'm also going to sh share with you the women behind those fragrances. Eee! I'm so excited. Now, before I get started, if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Just go ahead and hit that button. Join the weird and wonderful family. It would be amazing to have you part of the community. And without further ado, let's get into this. Now, I wore my baddest femme fatale shirt <laughs> to try if it the part but i'm the furthest thing from femme fatale but sometimes you want one of those deep dark mysterious fragrances that is going to draw in your prey we all have occasion to wear one of those once in a while so i've got five for you that i want to share with you and the first fragrance is dior Addict. This is a beautiful kind of spicy, slightly green vanilla. It's absolutely gorgeous. Like it's quite intoxicating and addictive. Uh, it's a powerhouse fragrance. Like it's going to last hours on the skin and it smells luscious and decadent. I would say slightly more mature than some other fragrances, but again, like that Femme Fatale, this is not for the femme faint of heart. Uh, this is definitely a little bit more sexy, uh, dark, mysterious. So it's got a bunch of kind of different notes there up on the screen. What it comes across as is this kind of green, uh, slightly green. It's not as green, green as something like uh, Marc Jacobs' Decadence, um, but it's still got just a whisper of green in there. It's definitely got a spicy kind of almost slightly creamy texture to it. Uh, it's very different, it's original, but it's so deep, dark, sexy, mysterious that it's a, definitely a femme fatale. So the woman that wears this, I picture her living in kind of the, the 1930s, 1940s. She's got beautiful kind of auburn hair, really long, luscious locks, and they're kind of done in that pin curl style, comes down. She wears like uh, this color of dress, so kind of like a, a navy blue, almost royal blue colored dress. A lot of times it's like covered in sequins, fits her figure perfectly, and then she wears these long velvet gloves that like come up to here. She also smokes one of those uh, things, you know, those lock long cigarette things. She smokes one of those, uh, but she sings in this jazz club. But what people don't realize is that she doesn't just sing in the jazz club. She owns the jazz club. She has other people running it so nobody knows because uh, her passion is song. But she also really loves money and what people don't know even that uh, help her kind of run the club. She's a major mob boss. So she was the daughter of a mob boss from the time of the prohibition. Uh, but like I said, her passion is singing, but she is definitely a bit of a villain. She's so gorgeous. She wears this, it lures men in. And when she laughs, it's not a pretty laugh. It's kind of a harsh laugh, like ha 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 ha, like that, because she's, <laughs> she's a villain I don't know the club is packed out every night because she sings like a freaking like <laughs> what the heck as intoxicating as she smells her voice intoxicates as well so the club is packed out every night that she's singing she sings all those old jazz tunes and the place is mesmerized she wears Dior Addict. I'll move on. The next fragrance I had to put in a Femme Fatale video is Floral Streets e Leg e Leg Espresso. Now I've said before, this is my fragrance that smells like a night of bad decisions. Um, it's deep, dark, mysterious, sexy. It's weird. Like it's a weird fragrance. So the stars of the show is uh, the Elang Elang, but it comes across like if you've smelled Cafe Tuberosa by Atelier Cologne, this to me reminds me of it, but I actually find this smoother than Cafe Tuberosa. So there's definitely a coffee note that comes across almost cigarette-y. Even though this doesn't have it, it feels like there must be iris in it because you get kind of a lipstick and leather vibe from it. Like 
I said it could be the coffee and the ylang ylang playing together. There's patchouli, there's tiramisu, there's Szechuan pepper, coffee, whipped cream, cacao, guyac wood. So lots of different things. But what I primarily get is this feeling of lipstick and leather. Uh, it's a little bit naughty somehow. <laughs> <laughs> and I just love it. So this fragrance definitely reels a guy in, at least in my mind. <laughs> it reels me in, like what the heck? But anyway, <laughs> so the woman that wears this fragrance, she uh, she's a treasure hunter. So she's very similar to kind of Laura Croft's style and aesthetic. Uh, she's uh, a little bit more rough around the edges. However, she did come from money, very similar to Laura. In fact, my guess is that she knows Laura Croft. Uh, but she, this, this chick, uh, she can, she can roll with the, the luxe crowd. Uh, but where she really shines is in Marrakesh. She hangs around with the locals. She can drink anyone under the table. She never ever shies away from a fight and she'll take on the biggest dude in the room and she'll win and she has one uh so she she knows how to live like with gusto she's always on on an adventure she's got a team around her uh but but no one really knows her <laughs> so don't. nobody really knows her because she's got that pain inside uh that kind of keeps people at bay uh, but if you do get close, you got to be careful. She may reel you in for a while and then she'll let you loose and you'll be devastated, like devastated. So she wears Ylang Ylang Espresso. She smells a little bit naughty, a little bit skanky, but she's happy. She's happy and she's living her best life. She's living life to the fullest. In fact, she's so full of life. It's like she's a living tornado, but that's the problem. Like she can suck you into her vortex and then you get thrust out uh, uh, and you usually end up damaged goods. So you want to stay away from her and she wears you leggy leg espresso. Next fragrance. I know it's hard to find. In fact, probably you can't find it, but I never talk about it because of that. And I have to mention it for a femme fatale video. It has to be in there. Oh, alien essence. Absolute. Oh my goodness. This fragrance is so freaking sexy. It's so intoxicating. It's like uh, it, 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 it's absolutely, it's, it's divine. Like it, it's so good. This of course is Jasmine. It's got some wood. There's some powderiness from the orris root. It's got vanilla, amber incense, but the star of the show that kind of makes it kind of, uh, almost smell. It's, it smells almost medicinal is the myrrh in here. This is so deep and dark and, and like, it, it, it's just incredible. It's incredible. Uh, I don't really have words to describe it other than if you love Alien, but you want an even darker, deeper, more mysterious, more sexy version of Alien, this this would be it. I hope that they can bring something out that's similar to this eventually, because it's just an absolute shame that they got rid of this. And it definitely, like, I, I looked on eBay just to see, I looked around, and they're selling it for like $400 for 30 mils, which is insane. So um, I, I wouldn't do that unless you're absolutely hooked on the fragrance. But oh my goodness, love this fragrance now. Of course, being this is alien, the femme fatale in this story is, is an alien. And she is so beautiful. She comes to Earth and then she kind of has to quickly learn the language. Her whole entire purpose for being there is to figure out if the alien race that she's part of can take over the world. So she's a little bit like a Terminator somehow, uh, but so, so beautiful. She can kind of morph and shift shapes. Uh, but she, um, she, she comes to earth and then she's learning the language and learning everything, uh, learns very quickly. They're very, very hyper intelligent. Uh, and she was actually, she was created. So although she's alien she was created from alien technology to a certain extent so that she could assimilate easily into the culture so that she could dominate <laughs> now the crazy thing about this chick is she doesn't smell like alien essence absolute but if she gets close to prey so basically any anything 
if she gets close to them and she bites them, the poison that she injects smells like alien essence absolute. The weird thing about this race is that they're kind of a little bit like spiders. Uh, so although they look human, they're not. Like they're kind of from a, or an arachnid type DNA somehow. And so uh, she doesn't smell like alien essence absolute, or maybe there's a slight hint of it on her trail, but you smell alien essence absolute when she digs her claws into you and injects the poison into you. The poison is alien essence absolute. This story is starting to creep me out, so I'll stop there. Anyway, she's she's terrifying. She's beautiful. And and like you're you're mesmerized by her beauty, but she's not quite human. And so even when you look, if you look too closely, you'll be totally creeped out because she's not quite human. Okay, I, like I'm just going to pause there and say, I hope you guys don't mind my crazy stories again. Like sometimes you got to just do it. And with the femme fatale, you got to have fun with it because it's really a ridiculous topic, but kind of fun, right? <laughs> anyway, if you don't like the stories, just, just fast forward. But if you like the stories, give it a thumbs up. The next femme fatale fragrance is actually one of my favorite fragrances right now. And is it is L'Interdit Rouge by Givenchy. Now this fragrance, it is so sexy. It's warm. Uh, this one has almost uh, kind of a spicy quality, a uh, slightly indolic feeling. And it's spicy and sexy enough that it scratches the same itch as the Alien Essence Absolute. So even though it do they don't smell the same, they kind of fit somehow in the same genre. So I'm absolutely loving this fragrance. It's so beautiful. Like it's beautiful. It's somehow classy, even though it's extremely kind of intoxicating and sexy. Like this is uber sexy. So it has ginger and blood orange in the opening. Definitely get that ginger. Don't really notice like orange per se, uh, but that ginger, oh, it's so good. This has tuberose, jasmine, and pimento leaf in the uh, mid. Uh, the, I think it's the pimento leaf that kind of adds to a bit of a warm spice. So amazing. And then sandalwood, vetiver, and patchouli. And to me, vetiver feels very, um, vetiver feels kind of spicy and dry. Sandalwood feels dry and creamy. And then patchouli can feel spicy. I don't feel like this is a dirty patchouli at all. Such a beautiful concoction. Like seriously, it's absolutely amazing. Now, the woman that wears this, She's a high profile art and jewelry thief. She's on a global uh, most wanted list because she's so, so good at breaking into uh, high profile jewelry stores. She breaks into jewelry collections of billionaires. Uh, she breaks into art galleries and nobody can stop her. Now, the thing about this woman is she's uh, kind of a master of disguise. So you never really know what she looks like. But no matter what she looks like when she's at these gala events, she'll scope out her next mark. Uh, but she never looks the same. So they can never figure out who she is. Uh, she always, like, she's so beautiful. She dresses nice. She fits into that billionaire type crowd so easily, but she did not come from money. She was very, very poor and she just uh, kept on learning and learning and learning. So she's even morphed her voice to fit uh, with that old money vibe. Uh, her wardrobe is just spectacular. She's got a wig collection that you couldn't believe, uh, but she smells like L'Enter de Rouge. Now this woman, uh, although like men just gravitate towards her, like they just melt in her presence. And she's really like, she's fun. She knows how to carry herself. Uh, and she's so stunning. But as much as people just melt in her presence, when she's scoping out the things, you do not want to be on this woman's bad side. If you catch her in the act of her thievery, watch out because this woman is well-versed in almost every martial art. Plus she's an acrobat. So she can do things that would blow your mind. She's unstoppable. Like 10 guys can come at her to try to, to try take her down. And they're all on the floor within seconds. Like she's 
so amazing and she's so good at what she does that that they don't even like it's like how could she even be human like sometimes they think of her almost in uh, in mythical proportions because she's so uh she's so elusive but she's also so dangerous so she wears Lanter du Rouge by Givenchy. She's not afraid of rocking this during the day. She'll walk into an office smelling like this. She'll walk into a jewelry store smelling like this. She leaves an intoxicating trail wherever she goes, even when she's busting the hump of about 10 guys who are trying to pursue her uh, to take her down. So this woman, she's amazing. The last Femme Fatale fragrance I have for you is Versace's Crystal Noir EDP. This one is one that uh, that I've got to try again. Like I smell it and I'm like, holy mackerel, I love this. So I love it on the cap. I love smelling it on others, but I really struggle smelling it on myself because it smells a little too masculine somehow for me. Uh, that said, so many, so many uh, women love this fragrance and I had <laughs> One woman, I think it was this fragrance and her, her husband, like he, he, it just blows his mind. Like he's, he's in love with this. It does it for him big time. Uh, so definitely uber sexy. This one has pepper, uh, ginger and cardamom in the opening. And what I find with a lot of these fragrances is there's a sweet component, but there's also a spicy component. And that's kind of what makes it so kind of sexy, femme fatale feeling like darker, uh, a little bit luscious, spicy, dark, uh, resinous, uh, thick. Now this fragrance also has coconut. There's some florals in here, sandalwood, amber, musk. Definitely get the muskiness. This is kind of a cold fragrance somehow. So it's very unique. It's, it's for a designer fragrance. Uh, this one's rather affordable, kind of a neat one, but for me, it smells quite masculine. Uh, so that's the only thing. Although, like I said, now that I'm smelling it, I'm like, I've, I've got to try this one again because loving it. But anyway, the woman that wears this, I've said this before, and when I say something, then it's in my head forever. <laughs> so this woman is a spy. She works with British intelligence. Um, some are starting to wonder if she's a double agent. She kind of goes with the wind. So she, she does her own thing. And again, like she knows how to c carry herself in those, you know, ballroom situations where she's trying to get close to the guy that she needs to. Uh, she just reels them in like nothing, but she feels most comfortable wearing a full leather motorcycle suit riding on her Ducati. Like that's where she shines. And that woman, she knows how to ride a Ducati. Sometimes motorcycles can ride you. She she owns every bike she gets on. She can take that bike. She can hit the brakes, have the whole entire thing kind of go like this and then rotate it back down onto the brakes and head the opposite direction. Like this woman is amazing on that bike. She can take down, like in a car chase, she's going to out chase everything. <laughs> she also speaks many, many, many languages. Her cover, bizarrely, is working as a professor in a high profile university. I think she speaks about 10 languages. Anyway, she wears Versace Crystal Noir. And that is it. Those are my Femme Fatale fragrances for you. Uh, if you've tried these, which is your favorite? I would say for me, I, <laughs> I was gonna pull up three and then realized I couldn't leave the Attic down there. Uh, but honestly, all three of these are absolutely amazing. Dior Addict is really gorgeous too, uh, but it's somehow a little bit, almost a little bit deeper and darker than the rest of these. Uh, but yeah, super se sexy. I don't know, again, like thinking about Femme Fatale, reeling a guy in, being a man eater, um, that's so not me. But beyond that, I don't know if any of these would reel in a man necessarily, but they reel me in. <laughs> Like, I find them sexy. So really, that's all that matters. So anyway, uh, what is your favorite Femme Fatale fragrance? Uh, is it one of these or is it something else? Leave it in the comments. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this crazy video. And until next time, have an amazing week. And we'll talk to you soon.